You guys, we're back. We are back in action. And I have got something really cool that we're going to do. I've actually never done this besides being on with my network marketing on demand clients or actually like in person at retreat. I'm about to brand someone from scratch right in front of you. No pressure, Marina. No pressure. No pressure. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay. I'm sweating. So Lindsay must be really sweating, but don't be sweating. It's up to me. It's not up to you. First of all, can we all just give Lindsay some serious like fire emojis in the comments? section because she said yes. I know it's one thing to want this to be done, but this to be done in front of nobody. Lindsay, it's just me and you. It's just me and you, boo. Don't even stress it. But seriously, like she's going to open up her world to all of you so I can brand her. And she's also one of our network marketing on demand power hour coaches because we do power hours every single day inside of network marketing on demand. And so I'm just grateful I get to give this gift back to her after everything she's been doing for us inside of there. I know that some of you are like, I did the free summit, but I didn't upgrade. And I don't know if I can watch the recording until like next week. Well, that's why you want to upgrade to the VIP. Okay. When you upgrade to the VIP, you're going to hear me. Sound like a broken record. We forgot to change it, by the way. It's still $47. You're welcome. We forgot to change it because we were too busy eating and I was prepping and priming. So you're welcome. It's still $47 for the workbook. That is 195 pages where the notes are already taken for you. You get your digital download. You also will get lifetime recordings so you can watch them at any time. And you also get a VIP strategy session, VIP strategy session with a VIP concierge coach from the Moms and Heels brand who helps you figure out where are you right now? Where do you want to go? And what exactly is missing in order for you to hit those goals? So make sure you do that. Mm. All right, I'm going to try to do the whiteboard with Canva with you guys. So, Lindsay, are you ready? You got this, boo. We're going to bring her up. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. Oh, I love you. Thank you for saying yes. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Oh, my God. I was so excited to do this. So, we are going to brand you from scratch. I'm going to literally treat this like this is our session in network marketing on demand. Is that cool? Yes. Okay, cool. And don't apologize for children ever. Got it? Kids come in. It is what it is. That's life. We're moms running businesses. Don't apologize for your children. Got it? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So one of the things that we're going to do today in our session is we're going to get super clear on like, who are you talking to? Like, what's the problem that you're going to solve? And what are those problems that we're going to literally solve over and over and over again on social media? Usually these are recorded just for you, but apparently the whole world's going to watch this. Hope you're okay with that. We're going to have your content strategy done today. Like, this is where you're going to stay. This is where you're going to sit. This is what we're going to do. Your mission statement's going to be done. And if I can find a tagline, I will. I've already stalked you. So I know a lot about you, obviously. I've looked at your profile. So I know like what you're kind of doing right now, but I feel like we can get even deeper and more specific. So I'm excited to do this. So how it works is, is I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. My brain is super crazy, so I will interrupt you a whole lot. That's just the way my brain works. I'm probably not going to be making a lot of eye contact because I'll be writing things down, asking more questions. I might hear a word or language that you use and really like it so I can put it into the mission statement. And I might get deep at one point. So if you're like, I don't want to go there or I don't want to answer those questions, you don't. This is as deep as you let me go is as deep as we will go with you and with your community. Obviously, the more connection we can do emotionally with people, the better. But again, I don't want you to feel like anything has to be forced. Here's another thing that I always tell my network marketing on demand clients, and I'm going to tell you as well. If after we're done with your mission statement and your content strategy, you're like, Bleh, I don't like this or, oh my God, this is this is not for me or this does not feel authentic to me at all. I want you to tell me because this is not about me. This is about you. I'm not perfect. Now, I've never had anybody tell me they don't like it. Just an FYI. But if you feel like there's a word in your mission statement you don't like, or there's like a different way that you would approach the situation, you just let me know because this, again, is not about me. This is about you. Okay. Now, I will say I'm going to make you uncomfortable. That's just my job as a coach. And that's just my job as your friend, right? Is to push you into places that you don't think you can go. And so, yes, we're going to peel back those layers. Sound good? All right. Okay. <laughs> Tell everybody a little bit about 
How are you? Who are you? Give us a rundown. Who are you? So my name is Lindsay. I'm a mom of four, all different age groups. My daughter's going to be 16. I have a nine-year-old daughter with extreme anxiety. And I have four-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. It was supposed to just be one boy, but God had other plans. I am engaged. <laughs> you imagine if it was two girls, though? Holy shit. Yeah. No. God, no. No. Uh, but anyway, I'm blessed. They're, you know, they're fun. <laughs> I work for an OCD and anxiety related disorders program at a local psychiatric hospital near me for kids. And I do that full time. I do the network marketing thing on the side. <laughs> and I have two pets. I have ADHD, really bad. I have my own anxiety. I have healed a lot. So like a lot of personal growth and just kind of a lot of life transformations over the last few years. Love it. First of all, thank you for being so open. I know it took me forever to be able to share my bipolar, my anxiety, you know, the traumas that I've been through. And so I just want you to know, like, thank you for sharing that because I know that's going to help so many people that feel that way, especially after COVID. Like so many people have the trauma, they don't even realize their anxiety is coming from that. So proud of you. And you're a mom of four. I can barely handle two when I have a nanny. You're amazing. Like super woman. Okay. So here's my question. My first question is, do you remember like when you first said yes to network marketing? Like what was that reason? Why did you say yes to network marketing? Do you remember? Yeah. So it was during COVID when I first said yes. And seeing this girl that I know kind of locally in the town, like putting up this, these posts about these products and there's doing and then you know she messaged me essentially to share a post for her and then asked me to join and said that it was free and I was kind of interested because obviously COVID you're bored you know I had a lot more time to just be open-minded I guess you know and so I was like sure I can use free like extra money like why not oh, let me stop you this is where I interrupt you did you just have your twins yeah they're only like a year old she said I had so much more time and you had twins <laughs> I was, working, I was working from home though. I mean, I don't care, dude. I need you to recognize right now. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They were in daycare at the time. But so what? You still had to be off to two, two humans that needed you. But like a time. good chunk of the day they were gone. <laughs> yeah. You see what we do as moms here? What do we do? We minimize the work. Do you feel like that's something that a lot of moms do? Yeah. Yeah. I actually recently started to track everything I was doing, like to be Good. more productive with my ADHD. And it's like a full-time job. No, for sure it is. But I think because your brain is so used to doing things so fast, right? Like, and you're used to like going from, I got to get this done and I got to go do this, right? Like you're also really creative. That's ADHD comes with creative, right? Madeline, my four-year-old, so ADHD. Like it's a not, another level with her, right? And so here's why I'm bringing this up is because that is something that most moms don't know they're doing. So like in a brand place, that could be the awareness and the conversation starter for you with moms. Almost like that empowering piece. So, you know, it's like, okay, you've got these moms who don't even realize all that they're doing and they're beating up on themselves because they think they should be doing more or they can do more or they're not doing enough when what they're doing is, is they're just minimizing how awesome they are. They're minimizing this work. Does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like I've tried to work on that myself a lot. That was a huge trigger for me, feeling very overwhelmed with all the different needs of all the different kids at different ages and just always feeling like it was never enough. And then, you know, recently I've just had this like shift in mindset where it's like, no, well, like, let's focus on what you did though. There's things yeah. that need to be done and there will always be things that need to be done, but there's yeah. a lot that's been done. Yeah, I love this. Cause you see how authentic this is to you because it's something you went through. You didn't realize like how big of a deal it is that you recognize and become aware of it. So now you can actually self care, treat yourself differently, say things differently to yourself, talk to yourself differently. And that's important because as moms, it's kind of like, I don't care how much support you have. It's just what we do. We just put it all on our shoulders. It's what we were born to do is pop out babies and raise them and do everything on the other side, right? So I love the minimize the work conversation. We're going to play off that for a second. That's a really good conversation starter. Let's talk really quickly about the ADHD and the anxiety. I feel like we can put that into your content. I don't know if I would put that into your mission statement because I feel like the minimize the work 
I want to kind of play off that a little bit because when I think about why you said yes to network marketing, you said it was because you were bored. I don't believe that. Well, I wanted more money and I felt like at the time I could do it. What did you like, want I more money for? And I mean that by if you were to compare my life pre-COVID where I was in the office nine to five, driving an hour to daycare, an hour home, like having literally an hour to like prep and do all the things to like this life of solitude. Like, okay, I drop them off, I come home, I do my work, it's quiet, put the little laundry in, like it's very different. And so when I say- So it was an identity check. Yeah, it was like- An identity check. I will never go back to it. Like I will never do that. I wanna show these, I just wanna show everybody. This is my brain and what happens during our branding session. It looks like a bunch of squiggly lines, like Tyler, when he does his medium stuff and he's scribbling, that's kind of like what it looks like over here. So one of the words that you said was solitude. I'm gonna share my screen. So when you said the word solitude, it like really stood out to me because that's something that moms feel, want, desire. But at the same point, it also can be scary. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cause then it's like we're in our own head, but we want to be in our own head because we're so busy. So I feel like this solitude with this minimize the work conversation starter identity check is definitely a way that we can go. So I just put moms in solitude in Google and there's over 13 million searches in 39 seconds. So would you agree that this is something that moms are searching for? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my right? God. Yeah. See, look at this. People also ask, why do moms feel isolated? What is depleted mother syndrome? I don't even know what that is. Have you ever heard of that before? No one's nope. Is it normal for moms to want to be alone? Mental health? Because this, see, this could be a whole area that goes into your ADHD and anxiety conversation, but the conversation starter, I wouldn't make it the ADHD or an anxiety. Kind of like mine, like I don't make that the conversation starter. Okay, so I like this so far. All right, let's come back here. When I say the word solitude to you, give me like five words that come to mind. There's no right or wrong answer. Peace, quiet, calm. Mm -hmm. Is that what you said? Yeah, home, like calm, um, like yeah. being home and comfortable. I don't know if I like No, but I know what you mean by the comfort. So it's more of like a home feeling. Serenity, like. There we go, yes. If you had to choose between serenity and peace, which word would you like better? Which one feels, which one digs? Serenity, like serenity, yeah. like a healing. Like I often find myself, like when my kids are super loud and noisy, like in a situation where I couldn't enjoy that before because you know, of all of like trauma and dissociating and anxiety and worrying about things. It's like, there's something to be said about those moments when you can just look at your kids and find pure, like feel the happiness, like, you know mm. what I mean? And, and I think, a lot of people in this like, I think that I know for a long time I can do that same like if there were so many things going on like where Maddie was doing one thing Jason's doing another thing Marissa's working over here and Maddie's laughing really loud I should enjoy her laugh whereas before it would give me the anxiety and like stress me out because I couldn't enjoy the moments that we're supposed to make like the moments that we're supposed to have as moms that we're supposed to enjoy, we minimize all the work we do so then we can't even enjoy those moments. There it is. Okay, give me a second. I have your mission statement. Okay, so let me share with you my idea behind this because I think it'll be like, it'll make more sense to you. So when I think about most of the time, like we worry that we're not experts. So how can we talk about something if we're not experts? And I want you to know that you only have to be one day ahead of someone in order to be an expert meaning we're always talking to who we were yesterday, right? And that's important because if we talk to who we were 10 years ago, I don't want to talk to the chick I was 10 years ago. She's a mess. I don't want to talk to her. That's not my person. Like I tell bits of that story, but that's not my conversation starter. So when I think about your conversation starter, where you started to really get emotionally connected to our conversation about this was through the solitude and the isolation. And so my idea with this is, is to break this into three parts of isolation, awareness of it, signs of it, and then get out of it. And then that isolation defines solitude, right? So it's like, you got to guard the solitude. And by doing that, you have to recognize how you're isolating and the difference between isolation and solitude, right? Like you don't want to isolate yourself. You don't want to remove yourself from your kids and remove yourself from these moments, right? So define the solitude. What does it look like for you? So you're going to help them define it. 
And then it's getting more moments with your kids. And that's where you can pitch your network marketing business, getting more happy moments with your kids and then talking about that. And that's how you can pitch that network marketing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put this all on paper for you right now so you can see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to type out your mission statement. So I encourage today's busy mother to guard her solitude and dismiss the isolated feeling so that she can truly enjoy the magic moments with her children. How do you feel about that? Good. It's very different than everything I've been trying to do and not succeeding. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing, right? When you look at this, there's a couple of things you're thinking about. You're like, okay, I get this, but like, how do I put this into words? So that's how I'm going to break this down into content for you. Okay. So when we look at this and I'm not all about like three pillars, by the way, like that kind of stuff drives me nuts when everybody's like, oh, the three pillars of your brand. There's like a million pillars to a brand. This is just one conversation starter. So I could literally brand you on 50,000 different things because of your moments that you've been through, the experiences that you've had. We're just literally picking one conversation starter. That's it that we're going to focus on because this conversation starter is what's going to be the magnet. Here, I'm using this lipstick. That's going to attract the leads to you. Got it? Now, when you guys think of pillars, it's just different conversations. So we're going to get into the problems and I'm going to pull up chat PPT and we're going to do all the things. Okay. So, okay. We're looking at this right now. What I'm going to show you is where your focus is going to be week one, your focus week two, week three, and then you're going to wash, rinse, repeat. But before we do that, one of your homework assignments is I want you to find 20 reasons why today's busy mom feels isolated. And obviously it's gonna be reasons that make sense to you, but 20 reasons why, because those 20 reasons I'm gonna need you to come back to, we're gonna circle back around. Okay, so isolation. So you're gonna find 20 reasons why she feels isolated. And this is gonna be one of the conversations you're gonna have over and over and over again. And how you're gonna do this is you're gonna bring awareness that she is doing it. That's the first, right? We've gotta identify what that looks like. So help them identify your content, what it might look like that they are ignoring or don't even notice. So here's the signs of it. This is the awareness. So for example, let's say one of the 20 reasons she isolates is because her ADHD and anxiety literally puts her in a place where she can't function. And so she has to go shut herself in a closet. Maybe it's not shutting herself in a closet, but maybe it's Netflix and chilling till three in the morning just to unwind. But then she's gotta be up at six with the kids so she's not getting any sleep. So this is something she's doing. She's isolating herself instead of taking care of herself, right? Or she's so busy with her anxiety that she doesn't even make time for adult time. She avoids it like the plague. That's something that you can play on. Make sense? Okay, so that's 20 reasons why she's isolated. And in your content, you're gonna bring awareness to that. Then we're gonna come over here. And so for one week, you're literally gonna talk about this. The next week, remember, Bryn said, what do we do? Value, 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 drip, 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 call to action. So here we go, one week, value, value, value. And in your stories, you're using your products every day. In your stories, you're doing, but I'm talking about the posts and the reels and the swipe carousel posts and the live videos, all the things around these three things, okay? Now with this, we're like, all right, now we need to define what solitude is. So what does it look like? So even like the mental movie kind of thing, this could be your thing where like you're encouraging these moms to create a mental movie of what solitude really looks like for them. What does serenity mean to them? And so this is like something, an exercise that you can be remembered for as a brand over and over and over again. So define with them, like, what does that look like? What is that mental movie? And I want you to come back here again and I want you to find like 20 reasons why a mother doesn't feel like she deserves her joy, her peace, quiet. Because it's usually coming back to the way we feel about ourselves, right? Would you agree? Mm -hmm. And then you can also put in here ADHD. So it could be ADHD plus anxiety plus trauma. You could bring into this conversation too. But so one week we're going to say, hey, mom, mother, by the way, I would say mother. I like the word mother. But hey, I bet you didn't know that one of the reasons that you're feeling like crap in the morning is because you isolate at night. Let me explain what that means. What are we doing? We're creating a me too moment. Does that make sense? 
That's what mm -hmm. we're doing with this content. We're creating a me too moment, okay? So the next week you're like, hey, here's 20 reasons, you know, not 20 reasons. Each reason is a piece of content. So here we go. We have 40 pieces of content right here. Got it? She's like, holy shit. Yeah, 40 pieces of content right here. And, right? No. Now, the third week, we're literally going to pitch why a busy mother deserves magic moments with her children. How to get four of them. And how to do it. So I'm going to just move you really quick. I'm just going to meet you really quick. So I can explain this. So check this out. So now we're on the third week. And what are we doing? We're saying, okay, look, you're a busy mother. You've identified that you feel isolated. Well, you're in control of feeling isolated. I want you to do this exercise week two, mental movie. Let's create it. Let's identify what is your why look like, right? You're just doing it for the isolated mother. You're not talking about business. You're just talking about what she wants for her future and her relationship with her children, right? Like, what does she want with that? And then on the third week, you're like, by the way, I just want to remind you, you deserve magic moments. You can have those magic moments. You can also get more of them. I'm going to show you what I said yes to that's going to get me more moments. So you don't have to say, hey, network marketing made me a million dollars or my online business made me a million dollars and you can come make it with me too. People are coming after the vision. These moms are going to follow you where you're going, not where you are right now. That makes sense? Yeah. How do you feel about this? Like, wow. Does it feel good? Yeah. It's like something I didn't even think of. That's why people hire me. Durr. I'm going to screenshot this and I'm going to send this to you. Okay. I want you to do your homework and you're going to come back to me and you're going to be like, I did my homework. Well, I screenshotted it. So I'm going to send you this screenshot in Facebook Messenger so you can print it out. This is called the brand plan. And so every session in Network Marketing On Demand, I want you to show up with this because every time Erin does her content, strategy on Tuesdays, literally this brand plan you show up with and it, you match in your problems, your things with the reels or the TikToks or all the things that we're in live doing during the week, power hours, right? All the things, the scripts that you create. Three ways you can break this down to make a little bit more sense to you is relationships with your kids, relationships with your partner, relationships with your family, relationships with friends. So you can get even more specific on the isolated feelings of isolated from myself, isolated from my husband, isolated from my kids, isolated from my family, isolated from adult life, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I'm such a dork. I get more excited about these things I think than everybody else does. Listen, this brand plan is legit going to start a conversation that is authentic to you. Because deep down when I peeled all the stuff back, all I did was show you that you want to guard solitude. It took you a minute to find it, understand what it was. And now that you get it, it's time for you to go share it and take more moms on the journey with you. That's just, it. I have chills. Oh, you have chills. I like when they get chills. I didn't make you cry though. And I just want you to know, usually we have tears on these sessions, but I didn't want to make you cry in front of everybody. Lindsay, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this for you. Thank you it's for doing thing. it. Oh my God, you said yes, like last minute. I got that of you. I love it. Well, I love you. Thank you for showing up. I'll send you this screenshot. I love you, Lindsay. Love you too. Bye. So here's the deal, yo. Here's what I want you guys to know. This is something we do for you. That session that I just did with her, I do with you when you join Network Marketing on Today. This is my magic wand, you guys. Yes. Am I a top leader in network marketing? Absolutely. Do I have a multiple sudden figure brand? Yes. Am I freaking cool? I think so. Do I have good fashion? I do. But here's what I will tell you. What lights me up are these sessions, like what I just did with Lindsay, because it's my gift, but it's a borrowed gift. I mean that because whether you believe in the universe, God, whatever, I'm not going to push how I feel on you, but here's my thoughts. I am used to speak through. Every single person has a different mission statement, a different content strategy, a different outlook on their brand, and a different way to show up. And so I want you to know that I am going to get emotional. This is why I do what I do. I just want to show up and help you find your voice. I want your voice to matter. I found out some crappy news today, and it makes me sad because I feel like this woman didn't have a voice and I feel like she felt isolated and I feel like she needed help 
And I just feel like I just wish I could have done something for her. And she overdosed. And it makes me so sad because one of my missions is to help women with anxiety and depression. And I know that's what she had. And it makes me so sad. And I just want you to know that we have to speak up. It's more than just making money. We have to make moves that matter. And the only way to do that is with a voice. And your voice does matter. You might not know what your mission is yet. You might just need me to pick it out. You might need me to show you what you already have inside of you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So thank you for letting me show you my gift. And I want you all to know that you are someone who matters and your voice matters.